get in here, huh? Hello. Oh. Hmm. You are so pretty. Hello from Chile, and hello from me with no luggage. <laughs> My trip to Chile started very adventurous. I'm here for work actually. I have my first week in Santiago de Chile to meet with other universities. So I work at a university and um, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna talk about when it comes to my work. Very exciting though, I'm very um, grateful to be here. But y'all, I flew from Berlin to Frankfurt. In Frankfurt, we were delayed. Actually, built the flight to Berlin that went back to Frankfurt that I was on was already delayed, so we left very late. The word late is gonna come up very often. <laughs> so I arrive in Frankfurt, I run as an asthmatic. Challenge number one, okay? That was terrible. I arrive at the gate where I was supposed to fly to Buenos Aires and it was like a movie because the doors had just shut and they wouldn't let me on anymore. They rebooked me to Sao Paulo I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to Brazil. And the flight was already boarding. They're like, it's over there, you need to go right now. <laughs> so I went there and in Sao Paulo, I also had a very, very tight connection. I had to run again together with a bunch of other people to make my flight to Santiago de Chile. Funny enough, I actually arrived in Santiago way faster than if I would have taken my first route that I missed, just because the layover was so much shorter in Buenos Aires I even considered going out into the, into the city because I had like nine hour layover or something like that so that was cut short but immediately in Frankfurt they told me my luggage is not gonna make it it's not gonna get here it's not gonna be on this plate so I was like okay I arrive here no luggage of course I made a claim online but it's been more than 24 hours so nothing's happened so my husband who is in Germany still called them and they know that my luggage is in frankfurt they know but i think they haven't located it so best case they locate it in the next few hours and then it goes on the same flight that it was supposed to go on so around like 10 at night which would be like four my time here and then i have it in the morning or noon or something but i'm here for work, so lots of my work stuff is in there. Also, I have no clothes. I went shopping yesterday, I bought this in new jeans. And um, none of the ATMs were in English because sometimes they recognize that, hey, this is a foreign card, let's switch. Um, so everything was in Spanish and my Spanish is not like banking efficient or sufficient. <laughs> so that was an adventure, but I managed. So if you come to Chile, keep in mind that everything is in Spanish. That should be clear, but when it comes to banking, you know, um, I thought, because even in Mexico it switches, but here it won't, so keep that in mind. My first night was pretty good. I know it looks really dark in there, but it's actually really cozy. I have another bed. And um, when you're sleeping, you can look up to this window. I went to bed at 7 which is not a good idea, so I woke up at 4. Um, but yeah, I got dressed. L I'm going downstairs for breakfast soon. This place is really cute, so I'm definitely not regretting staying in a guest house. It's terrific, I'm really happy with it. And it's so cute, and they even made coffee when I arrived yesterday, and I made friends with the receptionist. <laughs> so yeah, everybody's really, really friendly. I'm going on a walking tour in a little bit. And then um, I might buy some new clothes because this is not gonna sustain me. I also have to buy some mascara or I'm gonna look like a ghost. It's very cold also. I'm here, it's July. Obviously, that means it's winter. Wow, the sun is coming up now. Um, but during the day, it's a nice 17 degrees, but at night, it goes down to 4. So I had a big like blanket and the heater on, not all night, but before I went to bed. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I've never been south of the... It's, it's just the global south, you know, I've been to Mexico, but this is the furthest south I've been and south of Thailand. 
but that is it um first time below the equator in winter too husband is complaining that it's like 32 degrees at home and here i am <laughs> in a jumper but i'll be in brazil after this trip and that'll be warm so hope i have my luggage hope i have my luggage tomorrow but hopefully definitely before the week is over and i'm flying to brazil so yeah i'm gonna get my pen and my book and let's wait for breakfast yeah <laughs> this is a great place to rest <laughs> yesterday and I didn't even feel it 5.6 I was just in the street noticed nothing good morning from beautiful Santiago de Chile. I am on my way to work now and it's extremely cold. I still don't have my luggage. Luckily, the people who work here gave me some shampoo and body wash. That was super nice. And yeah, walking now, meeting my partners at the university without any of my material that I brought for them. I love my neighborhood, it's called Bella Vista and yesterday I went out for dinner the food was delicious um, I had like... oh my god, I'm gonna butcher it um, Pastel de Choco <laughs> It's basically like a casserole but with corn, like mashed corn with a bunch of other ingredients like beef, sometimes there's chicken, olive, pumpkin, all of that mashed in there and I had beer from Patagonia, so that was really cool. And now I'm gonna find my way. Uh, my meeting starts at 10. I don't know when I'm gonna buy more clothes. Um, I went shopping yesterday, but it's not gonna be enough. I'm wearing a fleece, but again, it's so cold. So I will have to buy a jacket. Tomorrow I won't even be in Santiago, so if my luggage arrives, that won't be any good. Wednesday I'm here. And then Thursday I'm in the Andes. Without a jacket? I don't think so. So yeah, uh, I, I checked and it's like zero degrees there. 
Anyway, I'm off now. Excited to meet my colleagues. Let's go. So it's been I think four days and I still don't have my luggage but this is how we're rolling now. I've been very stressed and very upset just the thought of going to Brazil after and not having anything and I didn't have any of my work stuff and I had my meeting, my first meeting yesterday so that was pretty shitty. But here we are. I'm actually going on a day trip today so I won't be here to worry. Hopefully I'll be distracted however there is rain in the forecast. And my rain jacket, as well as my umbrella, are in my suitcase. But I have coffee, I am dressed, I got my laundry on. The people who work here are so nice, um, they made coffee, they all know that I don't have my luggage. <laughs> yeah, my laundry is was also done by them, so I'm very grateful. But I will maybe ask them if they have an umbrella. But yeah, wait, where am I going? So I'm going to Viña del Mar, I'm gonna butcher all of these names. Valparaiso, Casablanca, and Reinlanca. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to the Pacific Coast to um, like some tour around there. I was actually picturing it very sunny, even if it's colder, but I don't think it's gonna be sunny. But I think for Chile, this is like wine country. I only recently kind of got into wine, white wine, so let's see how that's gonna go. But other than that, I just thought it would be nice to see something that's close to Santiago, but not right here, just something else. And yeah, I think it's gonna be super fun to do a day trip. It's like 12 hours long, so I'll be gone all day. But yeah, I wanna see as much of Chile as I can, even under the circumstances. Yeah.
Russian knockoffs. I'm telling you, this is gonna make me feel so much better. So it's pouring in rain, if you hear that. Yeah, today was really cool, uh, despite the rain. Um, I was a little bit distracted because I didn't have my luggage and I have work tomorrow with all my work stuff in it, which I have here now for university. Despite the rain, it was interesting to see. Not really what I expected. We were in the bus a lot more, but again, I think it was because it was raining a ton. But now I'm just so happy I have my stuff and um, I feel like I can finally start truly enjoying Chile and watching Narcos is gonna make me feel good about myself because I thought I understand some Spanish. I'm extremely bad at talking, um, mostly because I'm also terrified that I'll make a mistake and I can't roll the R. Germans don't do that. <laughs> we don't have that sound, okay? When I watch Mexican shows or something like Narcos, you know, English in Mexico, I can understand not everything, but I can understand to an extent uh, what's going on and what they're talking about and all those things. But then I'm here in Chilean dialect or Chilean accent is just so different so I understand maybe 10 to 20 percent of what's going on when at home when I hear my friends from Spain and Mexico speak with each other I understand maybe 70 percent maybe 60 percent it depends on the context but I even watch like TV shows at home in Spanish with Spanish subtitles not even English subtitles and most of the time I know what's going on but here I'm missing the subtitles if people would speak here with subtitles, it would be fine. But this, yeah, it's not not working that well. <laughs> and everybody insists on speaking Spanish with me. When I'm like, oh, no hablo, no hablo español. They're like, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> like they don't care. Um, which is good for me, it's good, but I'm very shy to speak. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for my work day tomorrow. I'm gonna unpack a tiny bit and just be happy that this ordeal is finally over. <sighs> Good night. <gasps> Do you want to come in? <laughs> Kitty. Hello. Why are you shouting? <laughs> yeah. You staying with me? six and luckily I woke up this early by myself because I'm going on a tour in a few minutes and the tour guide <laughs> and the provider has just not given me the pickup time I'll get your guide to tell them to tell me the pickup time and I woke up at 5 15 or something and I checked my email and they were like oh yeah your pickup time is at six I was like oh god thank god I woke up this early because on the website, or on Get Your Guide, it said it's between 6.30 and 7.30. And they also give me the number of the guide, which I messaged, and they're like, oh yeah, 5.45. So it's terrible planning, but luckily I woke up early. So let's hope I'm gonna get this. I also definitely not charge my phone overnight. I completely forgot to plug it in, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so it's early. I'm very confused about when they're gonna be here, but let's hope for the best. I'm going to Cajon de Maipo, which is close to the Andes. It's not 
in the Andes Mountains, but close and it's cold apparently. So let's get a hat and all my stuff and let's see if we can make it there. Santiago and this view I just noticed from San Cristobal it's right next to us I'm back now and it's my last day at work I know it doesn't look like I'm working a lot and I'm not working a ton but yeah I'm just not filming it yesterday I was at Cajon de Maipo which was lovely it was a really cool experience and I met a really nice other traveler who was by herself but the weather got so much better later in the day in the morning it was like minus five and it was terrible but then the sun came out it was all perfect if you want to ever go there I don't think you can go by yourself it's the roads are crazy and I think the only way to do it is a tour there's like no public transport so yeah I have all day today I hope to go onto the big sky tower the tallest tower in South America apparently and get a nice view um, right now I cannot really tell if the view is gonna be good <laughs> the smog is coming out or the clouds it's still quite cold so I'm wearing a thick jacket but that doesn't mean the weather is gonna be bad so let's see I have meetings at the university all morning and afternoon and then I am hoping to go there and tomorrow I have all day as well but then at midnight or so, I'm gonna take an Uber to the airport because my flight to Brazil is like five in the morning and I didn't book another night, so I'm gonna spend the night at the airport, which is fine by me. Um, I befriended someone who works at this guest house, so I'm gonna see her again tomorrow because she's gonna be working here, but I get to say goodbye. And it's fun because she is a student at one of the universities that I worked at this trip. And I got some inside information about what's good, what's not good, you know, stuff like that. It's really good. So yeah, this is it. I'm gonna walk to the university now and finish my work day. <laughs>
think someone can sense I'm leaving today. She slept in my bed with me all night until like two in the morning. <laughs> You're getting comfortable. Yeah, let me make you some space. There you go. Look at her. <laughs> all right, it's my last morning, my last day. I'm kind of checking out of the hostel right now. I packed, but they said no one's going into the room today, so I'm allowed to leave all my stuff here. And I think the cat is gonna have a very rude awakening because I think I'll have to kick her out. Because <laughs> the thing uh, that I have planned today, the only thing I have planned, is I'm walking up, or hiking up, San Cristobal, which is that hill or that little mountain that I kept pointing out. And the walk up there is like an hour and a half. So yeah, that's the only thing I've planned for today. Nothing else. Um, I'm gonna get an Uber really late at night to the airport. But before then, nothing to do except hiking. So it's 10 now and I'm pretty sure I'll be back here maybe 4 or I'll head back out and get dinner. I really have no plans, which is unusual for me. But I think it could be nice just walking around last time around the neighborhood and <laughs> those birds and taking it all in before I'm leaving for Brazil which I'm also excited about but yeah Chile has been so great I'm really excited to get one last look at it I don't know how the pollution is today but I hope I'm going to have a nice view of the city